This is why you should never try to hijack a car on the highway. On June 19th, 2016, when this man left his friend's house, he noticed a car behind him and he pretended to take the exit to the highway, but at the last second he switched to the service road. When he got to the next overpass, the car had exited and was waiting for him at the light. He then made a U-turn at the overpass and on the other side of the highway, he pulled over. They pulled over behind him, confirming 100% they were following the car. This is when things escalated. Two men came outside the car, so he immediately drove away because this is a clear car hijacking. He did not have a dash cam, just his phone. The man was trying to get a plate so that when he called 911, he would have info to go on. They catched up next to him, but he headed to a grocery store that he knew had a police officer outside, often. The car broke off the pursuit once the man headed in that direction. The cars were found after a few days and the driver was detained. South Africa is notorious for hijacking, but when this man was a victim of one, he definitely handled it in the most calm way ever. He stopped at a red light and out of nowhere, three men hijacked this man's truck. He didn't even try to go away or to fight back. And it's probably the best thing he could do to not be hurt. The man tried to tell them to leave him alone, but the middle one threatened him that he would shoot him in the head and that he better stay cool. They took away his money and wallet, but unfortunately this is the daily life of truckers in South Africa. Before revealing even more disturbing car hijacking, another crazy situation happened, but this time on a busy highway in Cape Town. This white car was driving when suddenly this man just stepped up in the middle of the road with and pointing a gun right in the face of this driving car. He looks like a teenager, but this is common in South Africa. That's why he didn't hesitate to drive over him, because if not, he would be the one leaving his life over there. This is when you're trying to hijack a car, but it turns against you. The man reacted quickly and definitely did not hesitate to drive off. Getting hit by a car and sandwiched by a car door doesn't look pleasant. Thankfully, they didn't try to chase him back as they probably did not expect him to drive over them. In the Philippines, a man arrived at a disturbing scene of a toddler crawling in the middle of the road. There was already a truck who stopped just before him and the woman started running from the other side of the road to rescue the child. She wasn't the mother, but she took the baby back to the house on the side of the road. The kid was probably coming from that house. This is the worst nightmare for a parent, but the question that is still waiting for an answer is where were they? Just across the ocean, a woman from Los Angeles ran outside to her porch as she was hearing a strange noise coming from the street. We can hear a woman scream out of her laughs for help while she was getting kidnapped by a stranger. Help 
Everything happened so fast that the woman was just standing there looking in shock. She later called the police and reported the kidnapping. At the same time, her husband ran to the car, trying to catch it, but it was already too late. Nobody knows exactly from which house she was coming from, or if she was from the neighborhood, but her screams left everybody in shock for weeks and they never heard anything again. It was probably her last moment caught on camera. This is two professional car hijackers who went to a wealthy neighborhood trying to steal a car. Apparently it wasn't the first time they went hijacking cars and people knew about them. They saw this house gate wide open and it was perfect for them, but they just couldn't steal the car. They went back to the car and pointed their gun at a driver passing by. Only a few seconds after, the car from the house came outside, crashing into the thieves, pushing them off the road. They thought the car would go away, but it came back crashing a second time into them. They freaked out and did not come back. They were charged by the police and arrested thanks to the house camera. Bradford, UK known for kidnappings and high crime rate, it's no surprise that this man was kidnapped in broad daylight next to a kindergarten. At 11am on the Westcroft Road in Great Horton, this red minivan pulled over next to the building and one of the workers in yellow went to an alley with an unknown man. Three men came out of the van and started running to the victim. The kidnappers literally drag him through the alley like a potato bag. The victim tried desperately to escape as he was thrown into the van, but they were three against one, so his chance to get away were close to none. The kidnapped man was probably beaten up by them, and nobody found the man. Twenty-five minutes later, the police came out to investigate the scene and the 28-year-old man was arrested in connection with the incident. It's crazy how everything can change in just seconds. It's obvious it wasn't the first time they kidnapped someone because it took them under two minutes and they did it so smoothly. <laughs> 